All right, well, we got a, uh, should be the 10th table for the new media.com, and we're talking about why Bilderberg matters in 2017. You guys know we did the one in 2012. We're talking about why it still matters. So what brought you down here? Let people know about who you are and what it is that you do. Awesome, yeah. Like you. I, I probably mentioned 2012. I was here 2012 as well. It was, uh, it was amazing. Uh, we, didn't have, we didn't have as much time to plan for this one. Luckily, like we had four months in 2012. How did that happen? I wanted to ask. I, I, I felt like I heard it out of nowhere. Is that how it happened? Well, I think. I'm not sure. It might have, might have been leaked. But as soon as it got leaked, Bilderberg uh, posted it to their website. But, uh, I'm not too sure if it was leaked first, but it's, it was only like two weeks ago. Okay, okay. So, not much time to prepare for that. We got out here, and uh, we were here yesterday. There was a good couple hundred people. I'm glad to see you out here. Glad you guys finally made it. Uh, there are people that really do care, and uh, some of the most beautiful people, beautiful minds on the earth, and uh, most articulate speakers. You really have to meet these people. Come out here. Maybe if it happens again in four years, you guys got to come out here. Uh, I've been uh, working on a website for a while. I, help, I do things with We Are Change and uh, all other organizations, independent media. I've helped. I've tried to help out, but uh, this year I got wearethenewmedia.com. There's a thousand websites on there. You can go through and click up. Got my We Are The New Media. Well, I got some bookmarks. And oh, here we go. Let's get some <laughs> But, uh, That's I'm gonna awesome. Be, I'm going to be getting bumper stickers, but more so, I'm going to be promoting as many alternative and new media websites. What I like to say is, they are the alternative media, we are the new media. And also, I have wearethenewmedia.com or youarethenewmedia.com because that's what it's about. The, uh, the people that understand this, they want to control their own destiny. They know what's going on. They're not being led into this secretive organization to plan their destiny, you know, but they do it in secret. And and, and we know who started it, what they've been up to, and uh, they can't hide it from us. You know, they, what they say or what they're doing is, is, I'm sure, not exactly what they're doing is what they're saying. So uh, we want to be let in on, on our destiny to be able to control it. Uh, that's what we're doing with We Are The New Media, trying to uplift and promote as many new media organizations as possible. I've luckily been able to help through different channels on Facebook for many years. And, uh, we're going to do a lot more helping out. we got templates, tutorials coming pretty soon. So uh, make a website, send me your website, we'll get you up. we got a couple thousand that we're trying to get up, so uh, let me know, and uh, we'll get it going. So. Well, I heard about this live on camera, but guess what, guys? I'm going to be getting a hold of him. Thank you for listening, friends. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. I love uh, trying to connect as many people as possible. And that's what brings me, you know, you know, a lot of these connections, man. It's, uh, once we can get things going, we've been just starting to make money on cryptocurrency and learning about trading and stuff, too. And I think that is one one of the solutions that I've really seen take off lately. Uh, Ten years ago, if you went out and had $100 into Bitcoin, you'd have $72 million right now. Yes. You know. Do you think things like Do Dogecoin or Doggy Coin? Yeah, you know, I'm looking at a lot of them, and what I look at is uh, how well they're built, the structure. And what I'm hearing a lot of developers are saying, Ethereum is one of the hottest ones, and uh, Dash. But specifically, there's a new one called Pivx, uh, Pivx, P-I-V-X dot org, and uh, it's sort of similar to Ethereum, I'm hearing. And uh, I think some of the bad things, they kind of left out and uh, upgraded Ethereum. So uh, I think a lot of Ethereum users might be moving to the Pivx coin. And so that's an emerging coin. You really have a great opportunity with coins that are just emerging, so we're going to try to jump in on a couple of those opportunistic, I think, situations, and uh, I got about six or seven coins, you know, I diversify, put it, put it in a bunch of different places, but what I'm going to do, once we get things rolling with the Bitcoin, and we're going to start mining, my friend here has uh, taught me how to mine, actually, and uh, you better be good at math. Yeah, well, well, actually, it's making it a little bit easier, is it? Yeah, because, uh, so what he, what, he, what he showed me last night is, uh, you buy this miner, and uh, you pretty much learn about 10 minutes worth of information, like uh, 10 minutes, like setting it up, it should only take 10 minutes, and it, and it just goes, you use your ethernet, and uh, you don't have to do the coding, it's, it's harder to like, let's say, make your own computer into a model, you know? but when you get it kind of all set up for you, and uh, we'll have it on our website soon, but right now we have like 30, 40 cryptocurrency websites linked up, but uh, we're going to get a lot more and start tutorializing and making it easier for people because, uh, you know, I don't know about the, the cryptography uh, you know, development, I'm not really smart enough to understand some of that stuff, <laughs> you know, I do a lot of development and stuff, and, and, and program, I'm not into the programming as much, but 
<laughs> Honestly, I, I trust it more than I trust that Rothschild paper, you know, because we, we oh know God. how that's been over inflated, hyperinflated, <laughs> devalued, yeah. print it, you know, give it to their buddies. Don't trust it. And the stock market, you know, they, they got their own trading thing, you know, they, they know exactly, they control the, you know, flow. And that's, that's what's going on here, a mafia that controls the inside, you know, they know what's going on, they make the plans, they, you know, they make the scams, and who knows what they're planning, you know, but we do know there are a lot of false flag situations, and uh, we do know some of the most powerful people involved are sometimes here, and it happens right after we know they're showing up, you know, so they're almost linked, you know, there is a preponderance of evidence, I would say, but we'd like to see it in a court of law one day, at least investigate it at the you know. I wanted to ask about solar flares with cryptocurrencies. You keep hearing about people saying solar flares are an EMP. Now, when you say oh, you're right, yeah. So what, what kind? Do you know if there's any protection to this Right, yeah, I, I've heard a lot of very dangerous talk about the EMP, like, well, not dangerous talk. That, 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 that could be very dangerous if our electronics, you know. I mean, I mean for the cryptocurrency. Yeah. Do they have back doors or ways to help? I should say not back doors, but ways to help if that would happen? Well, I would say I think like that would have to be same with websites or any server that's holding anything. Yeah, I hopefully, hopefully the the, the people that are you know doing the bitcoins they have their you know computers protected. But how do you do? How do you protect against an EMT? Like I think it's um, yeah. What do you wrap the box in copper or something? You know? And it honestly wouldn't cost much, and if the government would propose something like that, you know they're aware of the EMT and the risks involved. Why wouldn't they propose something like that as an insurance for people? You know, to protect electronics. I think that's a very interesting question, something to look into. For sure. Thank you so much for being on. Absolutely. Thanks for coming out, guys. We are the new media. You are the new media. Dot com. Thank you. Get a hold of him. He's got great things going on, friends. Appreciate it. Thanks. We're looking out for you. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it.